Yes, game planning tactics in the postseason, in-game, in-series adjustments, effective velocity under the microscope there. Strategy, counter-strategy, happening game by game. Carlos Pena is with us. This is what we talk about when we're at the World Series. Yeah. And I know you'll be texting me, go, did you see that pitch after this pitch and then sequencing? Yeah, it's just basically when you are able to apply the science of effective velocity, which is the science behind timing, deception. That's what effective velocity is all about. Okay, let's take this Taylor Tensley changeup and, and we'll try to explain how effective velocity works um, in, in terms of what is happening with the hitter and the pitcher interaction. So if we look up at the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see a clock to show us kind of where the ball's at in space. So here we are at release. So once release happens, we're going to take it out to about a third of the way. And at a third of the way, basically the only thing that the hitter is going to be able to recognize is the direction of the pitch. We did massive amounts of testing on what hitters could and could not see. And what we came up with from 10-year-old kids all the way up to minor league baseball players is that in that first third of the flight, what you recognize is the direction that the ball's going. And they're all really good at that. So in other words, if you're a pitcher and you can throw pitches that look alike for that first third of the flight, you're going to fool most hitters. That's just the way it is. So th the other thing I want to introduce at this moment is the idea of perceived velocity. This is a term that I think is kind of misunderstood, misused. Perceived velocity is impossible for us to know, to be honest, because we're saying that we know what the hitter is perceiving this speed to be. And the answer to that is no, we do not. Until they actually swing the bat, like you can see right here, she's nowhere near on time with this pitch. So she didn't perceive this to be a changeup. She perceived this to be something very fast and swung accordingly. And that's, that's what perceived velocity should be. So from my perspective, perceived velocity is what we see at this, at this third of the way. So in other words, what is the pitcher presenting to the hitter as to what I want this pitch to be perceived as. And the answer is, I want this to go in a place that looks as though it's going to be like my other pitches, like my rise ball, like my curve, like whatever other pitch I have in my arsenal. I want them to all look the same at that moment. So now we'll take this down to this point, about 0.267 seconds. Now, this is the go time. This is when you have to start your swing if this pitch is going to be at about 68 plus. In other words, 68 at the major league level is equivalent to about 95 miles an hour of reactionary time. So in order for this hitter to get to be on time for this pitch, she has to start the swing right now or be late on an up and in pitch. So go back and, and, and note where what does this look like it's doing? It's going upward at this moment, right? It looks like it's going to be a rise ball. It looks like it's going to be up in the strike zone. And then it starts to take its shape. In other words, it starts to, you start to see things happening in this second third of the flight. And that is where all great hitters are made or broken, is in the second third of the flight. The first third of the flight, they're recognizing basically one thing. What, what direction is that pitch going? The second third around there, they start to see spin. Around there, they start to see speed. But by that time, if those pitches are in the same tunnel, you're basically swinging blind because we haven't had time to, to be able to adjust to something that we don't even know what the pitch is yet. So that is the power of what effective velocity tunneling is all about. If you can keep hitters guessing as to what pitch it is beyond two-thirds of the way to the plate, then you are 100% deceptive in the sense that they don't know what pitch it is that they're swinging at. And that's what happens on a pitch like this is she's not swinging at change up. I mean, of course she really is, but she's swinging in her mind. She's, she's getting prepared to hit a pitch that is way faster than this 55 mile an hour change up. And that is what effective velocity is all about. 